Hey guys, my name is Dan Baldwin. I am the owner and filmmaker at Danny B Productions. Let me be the first person to welcome you to my new series called What to Expect episode one now in this episode we are going to talk about everything that's in my camera bag why i use it how i use it and the reason i really want to kick off this series with this because a lot of brides and grooms don't know what to expect they don't know what you're going to show up with they don't know how you're going to do it how obtrusive you're going to be will you get in the way of other vendors so i think it would be a great way to kick off this series what's in my bag let's get started so first off, everything that I own and everything that I bring to me on a wedding day fits in this backpack. As a wedding filmmaker, you have to run and gun. You have to be ready for every moment at every part of the day. And I designed my kit around just that. Let's first start off with the Holy Grail, my main camera. This is it. Sony a7 III with a 24 to 70. Now I'm not going to get into a lot of specs with this, but what this allows me to do is shoot high definition. And with this 24 to 70 lens, I am able to shoot a super wide scene, but then also get up super close for the nice detailed shots of your rings, of your invitations, flowers, dress buttoning up, bow tie buttoning up, things like that. This is the holy grail. This is what will be on me at all times during a wedding day. Next up is this big boy. Now what this allows me to do is during ceremony, I shoot very, very far away from a side angle and it allows me to get really, really close to the bride and groom during their vows, during the ring exchange without being right up front in everyone's faces. So this comes in handy and I also use this during the reception, again, because I'm very far back and I'm able to shoot up really close and get some nice expression and details during your first dance, parent dances, toast, speeches, things of that nature. So that's where this comes in. All right, so my next workhorse is going to be this camera with a wide angle lens on what we call a gimbal or a stabilizer. Now, this allows me to do is get those nice smooth panning shots that you see or as you're walking into the ceremony or your first dance, any, anytime you see me moving or circling around, I'm going to have this. And again, it's super small, super compact. And again, it's with me all day long and it allows me to get those nice smooth shots. I'm gonna say, what the heck is that? Well, if you unfold it, this is the drone that I use. It fits in the palm of my hand, Again, super small, super compact, and it fits right inside my camera bag. You don't even know it's there. All right, now that we have cameras out of the way, let's talk about audio. I'm actually wearing one, but this is what my recorders look like. I have three or four of these that I'll have every single wedding in order to mic up the groom, the officiant, the podium stand, the mic stand, anything that I can get audio out of, I'm going to get audio out of using one of these. Out of the DJ board, I'm going to plug out, I'm gonna pull out of his speaker to get good high quality audio for your reception and ceremony. So we went over all of my camera and audio gear. Now let's talk about probably one of my favorite pieces of equipment and it is this monopod. Now it seems super simple, seems pretty basic, but what this allows me to do is get in tight places where tripods become obtrusive, meaning, so if you're up front at the altar, I'm not gonna have some big wide tripod to get a stable shot of you coming down the aisle. It's this, this is probably, the size of my shoe. So again, super compact, super easy to move around, and every shot locks down and is stable. So that's it, that's my kit. That's what I use to shoot weddings 100% of the time. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends, tag a friend. If you know a friend that's gonna be engaged, www.dannyreductions.com. And stay tuned, because we have some awesome content coming your way, including episode two of What to Expect series. And that's gonna dive a little bit more into the editing flow and the editing process and how I develop the highlight film and the full length film and what goes into that process. So again, thank you so much for watching. Stay on the lookout for that next video. And until next time, I'm out. All right. Cool.